All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is your brother Shamak out of the Great Millstone, Atlanta camp. Before I get started, I'm going to give all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rakhah Kadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone who teach and rule well in the overseas tabernacle of David. And Shalom to all you sincere brothers that's pushing and teaching truth across the four corners of the earth. Hey, Shalom. All right, I want to go into the lesson concerning, you know, this article, you know, uh, from the day of July 21st, the year 2020. Okay, 2020 being the year of prophecy, according to the spirit. All right. The article is titled, What Trump Warns U.S. Coronavirus Outbreak Will Probably Get Worse Before It Gets Better. You know, and truly this coronavirus is uh, is, is bringing on prophecies, man. Bringing on famine of the word through meat shortages. Bringing on bringing on the economic collapse, you know, which is, the, uh, which is going to bring on the RFID, which is the mark of the beast. Through these coin shortages, man. You know, it's bringing, it's, it's bringing on uproar of the people. You know, with these riots, man. Okay? Which is ultimately part of, spiritually, you know, breaking down, getting worse before it gets better, man. You know? Through prophecy, it's going to get worse before it gets better. Ultimately, you know, these prophecies must be fulfilled before the, the, the better comes. Better being the kingdom of heaven. That will be established on earth. Under, under the rulership of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? And the elect. All right? Which is the, and, and the, of course, the Israelites. All right? Simple, simple as that. Okay? Let's just see. It says uh, President Donald Trump warned Tuesday the coronavirus pandemic in the United States will probably get worse before it gets better. That's something I don't like saying about things, but that's the way it is. It's what we have. It's what we have. He said. See, it says Trump response to the pandemic has come under increasing scrutiny. It's, it's becoming it's, it's becoming under increasing scrutiny because why people want this place to go back to normal. People want people want their lives back. They people want. You know, their, 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 their beautiful weddings, their beautiful vacations back, you know, uh, their, you know, their, uh, their concerts, you know, their, the, the NBA, their sports, man, you know, but it's going to get worse before it gets better. And that's, and that's prophecy. Okay. That's prophecy. All right. Let's, uh, let me get that. Let me get a precept that's popped in my mind. Scripture that just popped in my mind before, uh, this is Acts chapter 14, verse 22. It reads, conforming. Confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the most high. See, through much tribulation. So that what? That's what? That's the worst to come before it gets better. You know? All right. Because we a hey, we redeeming at the times of evil. OK, through much tribulation, we, through much tribulation, we enter into the kingdom of the most high. And it's going to happen through faith. It's going to happen through faith. because We need we need to be redeemed, man. Through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Yahweh being the Heavenly Fathers and Yahweh Shai being His only begotten Son, which the word entry calls is God and Jesus Christ. Okay? Let me go to the blue letter real quick. We'll go to the blue letter. All right? To go into the uh, Ephesians chapter 5. All right? Because these times, this script, that article there shows you that these times are bad. We're coming into some bad times that people that are not taking into consideration. People are not considering the Lord. People are not considering what they should be doing. People are just not aware right now, you know. But that's why you have the true leaders being the, uh, the Hebrew Israelites, the true sincere prophets of the Lord, I, uh, predominantly out of the uh, branch of Great Millstone, all right? This is Ephesians chapter 5, verse 14. Wherefore he saith, Awake that thou that, thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Hamashach shall give thee light. See, it basically meaning what? Wake up, man. You know, wake up. Redeeming it, you gotta. You, it's time. It's time for the Israelites to wake up, man. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, if you're able to receive this truth, hey, wake up, man. Repent, turn back to the Lord, call on the true name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, and hey, and, 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 and start serving. You know, to, to the best of your ability, do what you can in the spirit. All right, and seek guidance, man. Ask questions. Seek Yah. Seek the prophets. You know, seek leaderships. You know, seek because the the prophets are here to. To lead you to salvation, man. We're here to speak things that accompany salvation, man. That accompany your deliverance. That are, that is going to help your deliverance, man. In ourselves, you know. Verse fifteen. See, see then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. So you got to be circumspect. Circumspect meaning what? To look around, to observe, you know, to know what the hell is going on, you know. You have to know what's going on in this world, man. Okay. You got to be. We got to be circumspect. As true believers, man, you got to be circumspect in these times, man. These times are evil. The worst is to come before the, before it gets better, okay? You know, spiritually better being the kingdom of heaven. 
not better uh, as in, oh, yeah, we're going to get our uh, sport. We're going to go back to the NBA finals. You know, we're going to go back to damn guy, you know, shit, going back to school and college. No, man. No, that's not that's not that's not it. You know, you got to have a spiritual eye to receive this truth, of course, because it is it is sweet and bitter. You know, that bitter are, is, is being these evil times to come and that sweet being the kingdom of heaven. It's going to all be worth it. You know, verse uh, Ephesians chapter five or 16, redeeming the time because the days are evil. I want to go into that word redeem. All right. And let's see the uh, in the Greek. Strong's G 1805. Exagarazzo. Exagarazzo. All right. So there you go. There you, there you have it. Meaning that's going to say it says to redeem by a payment of, of a price to recover from the power of another to ransom to buy off. See, and, and the scripture speak about that, that Hamashiach Christ. Bought us with a price, man. You know, Yahweh Shah bought us with a price. All right. He says to recover, recover from the power of another. Power of who? The Esau, Esau Edom, the so-called white man. We're under the white man's rulership right now. Job chapter 9 verse 24 tells you that the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. That's right now, man. You know, this is the evil man in rulership right now. But we what? We're going to be recovered from the power of another. We're going to be recovered, man. The Israelites are going to be recovered. You know, that's beautiful to know, man, that that's beautiful to know. Why? Because this is not the NRB, all You know, this is this is this is not it. This is not how life is supposed to go. You know, all right. That gives us hope, man. But uh, the second definition, uh, the metaphor of uh, of a Mashiach friend, the elect, which are the hundred forty four thousand uh, of twelve thousand from each tribe from each tribe of Israel, which are twelve tribes. Twelve times twelve is one forty four. OK, friend, the elect from the dominion of the Mosaic law at the price of his Vaxarius death. All right. But the second definition says to buy up, to buy up for oneself, for uh for one's use, to make wise and sacred use of every opportunity of doing good, so that that zeal and well doing are as it are as it were the purchase of money by which we make the time of our own. See, this is a sacred opportunity. Ephesians chapter four. And I uh, let me see if I can get that real quick. Ephesians chapter four verse one speaks about you know our, this invitation. You know Ephesians chapter four verse one. I therefore the prisoner of the Lord beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye were called. See if it's in your spirit, man, repent. You know because this is your calling, man. You know let's see if I can get the uh, word vo vo vocation real quick. Let me see if I can get it. Strong's G twenty eight twenty one. Clasis. Clasis. See, there you have it. Clasis. Clasis, it says a calling. It says a call invitation. It says to a feast of divine inter invitation to embrace salvation of the Most High. See, this is our invitation, man. This is your invitation. You come, across, you come in the past, the men of the Lord, the prophets on the highways and byways. That's your invitation right there, man. That's your calling, you know, or unless, it's your, unless it's your demise, unless it's uh, for, you, for you to hear your judgment, you know, for the near future. Unless that's the case. But ultimately, it's your invitation, man. It's your calling, you know, to embrace, you know, deliverance from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Deliverance that, you know, to accept that you're, that you're a Hebrew Israelite, that you're a God's chosen uh, people of the Bible, you know, and that salvation is only for you. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17, man. Salvation is only for the nation of Israel, man. A world without end, okay? But let's, uh, let me get Ezekiel chapter 9. I get it through the blue letter. This is Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. All right. Because, uh, oh, let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back because I meant to go get that redeemed. Salakia. I meant, to, I meant to get redeemed. The full essence of it. Okay. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 16. Back to the point. Uh, let's get back to redeem. Okay. All right. And it says, it goes to, it says, bought with a price. Look, look, hold on, hold on. I want to go back down. I want to go to, look, this is the point too. It says to rescue from loss. Woo! Improve opportunity to redeem. See, we need to be rescued, man. We need to be rescued, okay? Ultimately, you know, sincere believers in the elect, you know, need to be rescued. We need to be redeemed, okay? This is Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. It says, and the Lord said unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, Jerusalem being the, the Israelites' homeland, Jerusalem, Israel, okay, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done 
in the midst in the midst thereof. Khan, Salaki. See in that mark, let's go into that mark real quick. Because that mark is very important. That mark is spiritual, man. Alright, Thawa in the Hebrew. Alright, and what it is, let's see what it means. It says, desire, it says mark as a sign of exemption from judgment. See? That is that we want you you will want to be exempt from the famine, dying of starvation. You will want to be exempt from martial law, from the soldiers, from the UN troops kicking in your doors, man. Taking your children, taking your sons, taking your women, you know, raping your women. You know, you want to be exempt from these things, man. All right, we need to be redeemed, man. You know, bought back by Yahweh Bashmi Shai. You know? A sign, this is a mark upon the forehead of the men that sigh and cry. The the 144,000 are are the elect men. That are signed in crime, man. They're, they're, they're all men. Okay? That are predestined to be delivered. Okay? They're, it's already predestined. It's already predestined, man. It's no stopping prophecy. You cannot stop prophecy, Esau Edom, so-called white man. It's no stopping it, man. The Israelites are going to be delivered uh, whether you like it or not. Okay? This is uh, Isaiah chapter 26, verse 17. And this is basically an example of what we're doing right now. All right? Isaiah chapter 26, verse 17. Like as a woman with child that draweth near the time of her delivery is in pain and crieth out in her pains, so have we been in thy sight, O Lord. See, that's what the elect are doing right now. Sincere men, sincere believers, sincere uh, worshippers of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, you know, that submit to Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai in, in, in truth and sincerity. We're crying out, man. We're, we're near the time of our delivery, man. We're, we're coming into evil times, you know. The days are what? Going to get worse before it gets better. You know, we're, we're crying out, man. We're crying out how, man, through our prayer, you know, through our actions, you know, through, through teaching the, the word, man, you know, in our mind, you know. Sometimes you want to just break down and, you know, you tearing up. You want to just break down and cry, man. You just got to tough, you know, you got to tough it out in this, in this walk, man. You know, because we go through, we go through all trials and tribulations, man. We go through temptations, man. You know, we go through different, different situations, man. To what? Increase our faith, to, to withhold our integrity for you. How about you, shot? We call all things, we count all things dumb for Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. You know? Let me and I let me get that Philippians chapter 3. I want to go to verse 3 uh first though. This is Philippians chapter 3, verse 3. It reads, For we are are the circumcision which worship the most high in the spirit and rejoice in, in Hamashak Yahweh Shai and have no confidence in the flesh. See, and having that no confidence in the flesh. Ultimately meaning that we need Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. That's you realizing that you need Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. You need the Heavenly Father and the Son and the angels to redeem you out of the, out of this uh out of these situations that are, are to come, you know? Because you what you're redeeming that the, the days are evil. You know, these times we're coming into are very evil, man. You know, they're they're gonna be it's gonna be terrible. You know, it's not gonna be something, you know, something like, you know. It may not it may not be as bad as we think that it's gonna be. Or it may it may it may be. You know, we just think upon, we meditate our heart upon terror, man. Isaiah 33 and 18. We meditate upon that terror, man. All right? Because the Lord, hey, the Lord, let me get a uh, real quick side note. This is 2 Corinthians chapter uh, 11. Uh, is it 5? Damn. 5. Yeah, this is 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 11. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest to the Most High, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciousness. See? See, knowing the terror of the Lord, knowing how terrible the Lord is going to be in these days to come, you will want to repent and turn back to him and seek mercy from Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah. That'd be a wise thing of you. You know, that's how we persuade men through these prophecies, man. You know? Through these upcoming events that are going to come to pass and going to show that a prophet that had been among you. Then you're going to know Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 33. It's going to hit your mind, man. All right? And, it, and our trust is going to be made manifest in your consciousness, man. You're just going to feel the spirit, okay? You're just going to feel it, all right? Let me go back to Philippians chapter 3, verse 3. For we are of the circumcision, which worship the Most High in the spirit, and rejoice in the Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, and have no confidence in the flesh. Why? Because we we can't deliver ourselves, man. We can't just go buy hella, hella guns and go, and, go, and go shoot our way to salvation. That's not going to happen. For you simple ones out there, man. For you fake gangsters, fake thugs. You know, you're, you're not going to make it, man. Unless you're, you're going to shoot your way to your own death. You know? All right? Because to, be to be carnally minded is death, man. It's spoken about that in, in the book of Romans. All right? 
to be carnally minded is death, all right? But to be spiritually minded is life, okay? Because you know in the spirit, if you're spiritual, you're going you're, you're gonna to understand that you need Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah. You're going you're gonna to need divine intervention, man. You're going to need Yahweh Shah to intervene through, the, through, the, uh, through Esau coming in like a flood, coming in as a flood, coming in hard, man. On, on the Israelites, he's going to come in hard on you black Spanish and Native Americans, man. He's going to put your family members to death. He's going to put a lot of people to death, man, through these prophecies, man. Okay, you do not, you do not consent to, to his legislation. You don't consent to his rules. You don't consent to his, uh, to his laws. He's going to put you all to death, man, through, di through, uh, through many different ways, man. All right? But let me go through, uh, let me get Philippians chapter 3 verse 8. All right? It says, yeah, doubtless I count all things but lost for the excellency of the knowledge of, of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dong that I may win Hamashiach. And that's what we're trying to do, man. Understanding that you need that you need to be redeemed. You need to you need that divine intervention. You understand that you count all things shit to, to win Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, to win Yahweh Shai, man. And Yahweh Shai mean, meaning he delivers, he saves, man. He's our savior. So what the hell, how is that not wise to, to turn back to Yahweh Shai, man? To turn back to your power, you know? Why you still can before it gets worse, you know? Before it even, you know, before until the better comes after that, man, you know? But, you know, that article just inspired me to touch on this topic real, you know, quick and straight to the point, you know? But, hey, Lord willing, you know, this lesson was edifying and exhorting concerning, you know, the prophecies to come, Concerning the, the evil days that are going to get worse. You know, these times are going to get worse, man, before it gets better. All right. So I want to end out by giving all the glory and infinite praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Wachakadash, the Bahana City Apostles and Elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in all the Tabernacle of David. And Shalom. Keep the faith of Bob Babal, destruction to Babylon, man. Destruction to this place. Shalom. Shalom. Keep